So I thought we might take a little change of pace. I basically started playing another game in order to sort of just play it at my own pace without needing to worry about the progress of anyone for any other videos. And I thought, why not make a farmer? A solitary farmer so he doesn't have to share any food because surely that will make him better, stronger, faster. And I ended up with a character who, as you may have seen right at the start there, was so weak that it was actually faster to just throw his pants at them, those turtles, rather than actually fight them with weapons. But he quickly leveled up and got stronger. Stronger and stronger. And I'm not going to kid you and say that this was particularly easy. It wasn't. Not 100% of the time. Certainly, he had his advantages. Harvesting food. He leveled up quite quickly. Not needing to worry about enemies and gaining experience off them. You can just telefrag them. Like this to make sure that they die, and you don't have to worry about losing experience. In fact, if you're careful, you can just poison everyone, and then wander off and let them die all by themselves, come back later and eat any body parts that haven't dissolved. It's been slow, it's been fun though, it's been fun. I can play it at my own pace, and it's been an adventure. And it's been certainly further ahead of any of the other parties which I'm playing currently. The Iron Man party, which obviously I'm not going to play blind, because that would be stupid. But this guy ran into a... So I'm out adventuring when I come across this sword. And it's still inside a magical force field. And I can tell automatically that it's perhaps the most fantastic sword ever created. Because it's sealed inside a magical force field. And as such, in order to earn it, I apparently probably have to beat this room full of monsters. And there's three snakes and two medusas, and it comes down to a ridiculous battle in which it's basically ridiculously hard to maneuver. And it's also very, very hard to kill everything in any sort of efficient manner. I imagine if, if I had four times the party and maybe four times the ability to attack, this might go a bit faster and therefore be easier. I don't know, up to this point I've really been relying on, as I said, telefrag and everything in order to ensure that I never actually have to fight the monsters in the first place. I'm just here to eat stuff. I'm I'm not here for fighting. I'm an eater, not a fighter. Just like the French. <laughs> That's actually bullshit, because the French are fantastic at fighting. They won all sorts of wars. Like, look up their history of, like, number of wars that they've won and you'll see that they to win all the time. It's crazy. And you've probably noticed at the bottom of this video how how long the bar is. And you're like, how 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 much of this fight is this fight? How much of this fight specifically is this fight? It's it's quite a bit of fighting going on. Don't worry, the end of the video isn't just it does doesn't end on a fight. There is more to this than than just this fight. It's, it is mostly this fight, though. There we go. Petrified. Woo! You, you know you got to love it when it's like... At this point, I think I've died like... A lot. And just be like... Immediately into the room and it's like... Petrified. Damn it! Should have gone left. <laughs> but now we're getting into the serious stuff. You can probably tell because the music's playing. Just... Just watch how good this goes. I'll be quiet for a little bit.
Oh yeah. See, at this point I'm thinking, I got this. Two snakes, one Medusa. Psh, this, this is going my way. I'm not poisoned and my health is mostly full. And I've got a shield on. Come on, how could it go anything other than this? How could I possibly fuck this up? Well, keep watching and you'll see. There we go, now we're poisoned. Fantastic. Slowly whittle our health down. Oh, combine that with like, you know, keep turning to look where the snakes are and the Medusa shoots you with an arrow and you're like, damn it! That does far too much damage for a singular see like that. Just like, ah, oh, crap. Now I might not survive being poisoned. Maybe, if I'm careful and I take zero damage, it's doable. There you go, now I'm pretty much screwed. Up, oh, definitely screwed. <laughs> you were doing so good, and it's like, took like, what, 40 seconds? Less? To turn that against you? If I had another health potion, I'd still be alive. Things are looking up. I think, I think we might have this. Two enemies? One health? It's only a matter of time. Someone's going down. <laughs> Look at that health bar. True challenge mode. Oh, there we go. Now we're dead. Fan. So it's back into the spread up stuff because... Yeah, this continued on for quite a while. Look at the bottom of your screen. Imagine that that was running at normal speed. Because <laughs> it took a while. It was that point, though, however, in that first battle where I died, and I realized, no, this is totally doable. Had I, of course, just been dying repeatedly, I probably would have gone like, screw it, I probably don't need that sort of progress, probably, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh dear God, I hope I don't need it. And you stand in the middle of the trap and you die again, and you're sick. Fantastic! Seriously though, it is so incredibly hard to not get it because <laughs> it's like, oh, that sword is so obviously magical. I need it. I need it so badly. I mean, I could see that it was magical, and even if it wasn't, <laughs> it would be like, well, the game won't be 100% complete if I don't pick it up. I mean, how am I going to 100% complete things if I'm not picking up absolutely every single stupid thing that I've got. We just enter into another battle where it's like, I'm gonna die again. Because the hardest thing is probably the reducers. They do too much damage. Too much damage on a farmer who is only one man. It's one man. It means that you know, they're not spreading that damage across people. It's always hitting him. Always. And he's not exactly a, you know, easily avoided target. He's large and in charge because he eats a lot of food. Oh, no, we die. <laughs> what were you thinking? That's another one. I got petrified there. But here's another fantastic battle where you just step straight through the gate, immediately hit by two arrows, a snake bite, you get poisoned, you're injured, so you can't do anything. It's just like, damn it, that was the hand that I was using too. 
probably the worst start I came out of is like I got hit by two arrows, got a snake bite, so I was poisoned. Had my head damaged because that was just fantastic. So you got low accuracy and you can't use spells. Um, I also had one of my hands damaged, so I couldn't attack. And I had my feet damaged, so I couldn't move. That battle was over so quick, it wasn't even funny. that element of luck which really just keeps bringing me back into this room. I'm like, yeah, sometimes you have a good run, sometimes you have a bad run, but that's what makes it good. I'm just kidding. It's like it would have been fantastic by this point. I'm just like, just let me kill everything. I don't care. I, I'm tempted to cheat, but <laughs> also I don't want to. Tempted. I didn't actually cheat. I mean, come on. That would be cheating. Oh yes, this is how I actually ended up winning the battle. I was wondering if I still had this footage, because I wasn't sure if I had recorded this. <laughs> Basically, I found that if I seal myself in a force field, I can rest for enough, just long enough to heal more damage than I would actually lose if an arrow hit me. I think, I think the arrow does about like 21 damage and I get about 40 health back from resting inside the force field. Just like, oh yeah, it's ugh, I'm gonna die, and I've got no healing potions. Screw it. Well, just rest. Just rest. It's okay. And then, of course, the Medusa is spread out so that I can't see both of them at the same time. It's kind of like, ah, oh, where do I stand in order to not die? <laughs> this tactic works so well. It's just, it shouldn't. <laughs> like my light spell's expired. Now I can't see even better. Screw it. Just continue. <laughs> Things couldn't possibly get any worse than they have already. Oh, and, there, and then you realize that you used up all your uh, potions and you can't really. <laughs> God, damn it! <laughs> but thankfully, I eventually did end up winning that battle, and my reward? It's a sword I can't use! Woo! Oh yes, yeah, so reward.